This is the second video in a series. If you missed part one, click here to watch the first part of this interview with Farmer Brad, all about automating your homestead to make life easier and make you more productive. You, you use sensors. I've seen this on your Instagram channel, Brad. Uh, yeah. What kind of sensors do you use to make your home, your barn, the whole homestead smarter? Okay, so um, since uh, sensor um, push, they sent me some devices that help monitor temperature. So I have those in my freezers uh, to be able to monitor. And whenever the health department comes and does their um, bi-annual uh, inspection, I end up just giving them like printed sheets of like, here's the records of the temperature at any point in time. That's uh, awesome. Then, then the other thing I do is I put those sensors in the coolers that I take to the farmer's market. And so that way I'm able to monitor and make sure that I stay within uh, the health uh, code um, with those uh, coolers at the market without having to open them up. So they work via Bluetooth. Uh, so within range. So that's helpful if I see I can get a uh, notification alerts or if our power goes out. Okay, now I need to fire up the generator in order to get it going. I like the idea of using those. I never thought of using them for the freezers. We have had, sadly, one year we had a freezer go. So to have a sensor in there, and now this sensor, it's connected to an app on your phone? Yes. Any other good, smart ways to improve the homestead, improve the home, Brad? Uh, anything else going on at uh, Farmer Brad's headquarters? Uh, the only other thing I would say is um, using uh, wise cameras or security cameras. Oh, I like this. My wife and I and our family, we were visiting family out in California, and I was getting a little nervous because uh, we ha were going to have a lamb soon. So while we were out in California... By having these cameras in the barn and other stuff, I'm able to sort of problem solve from California to be able to explain something to the person that's helping watch the animals. We have many times in the past have Wi-Fi cameras set up. We've used Nest cams in the past. Uh, why do you like the Wise camera? Uh, the Wise cam, uh, the base price is 25 a piece. Wow, it's already paid for itself because it was able to <laughs> identify. A neighbor's truck that smashed my mailbox <laughs> that paid for a couple cameras yeah Man, well, well and the bad thing was I had just put up the new mailbox oh, five days prior of course. and and I was like are you serious I like all these things we've talked about tonight, Brad, all these little ways to automate the homestead. Uh, they're, they're little things. You might take a couple weeks, you might take a day to put something like this together. You might be able to do it in an hour, you might take a month. But all these little projects, if over the next year you said every, every month I'm going to do one of these projects, at the end of the year your homestead would be working a big percentage more efficiently which means more time the next year to do other projects, whatever you come up with next to emulate mm -hmm. that, <laughs> uh, to spend more money. If you're saving 90 cents a day, you're, oh, come on, 90 cents a day. That's a, you know, uh, it's a, basically a dollar a day. What, what am I gonna do with a dollar a day? Well, on a homestead at the end of the year, $300, that could be a batch of meat birds. That if you then, and there's always feed to take that money oh, too. Oh, feed will suck that <laughs> money up real fast, especially if you get pigs. So all these little changes, if those who are watching on YouTube, those who are watching on uh, our live stream tonight, and those maybe listening in the future on a podcast, uh, if they start to look at ways, not only your ways, but even just to get into this mindset where we think we go out each day. I have a saying, Brad, that I use. Uh, you may have heard me say it on the channel before, one better. One better is my saying, I go out and I do my routine and at the end of the morning, and I've tried to teach this to my kids too, as we're establishing a new routine, right now my son has a bunch of little chicks uh, and each day we go and we do our routine and I try to establish this with my kids. I say, okay guys, we did this today when we were milking the goats with my daughter every day going out milking. One better. How can we make this one little step better? One thing could we change that would make this easier save us some time, save us some money. 
If you start thinking like that, as you've been doing on your homestead, Brad, all these different things, no doubt in the next season, we'll see new ideas from Farmer Brad. Uh, at the end of the year, it really does accumulate. If we think about way back in a little house in the big woods, uh, Pa Ingalls was using this wonderful machine to save him time so that he could do other things. And uh, that's what I love about all these ideas, Brad, is they're going to save us time, money, energy, allowing us to do more the next year. So thank yeah. you so much, Brad, for sharing all these ideas. Brad, if people want thank to follow you. you, follow your journey, see your ideas, if they want to build some of these themselves, this isn't just a marketing pitch for you. They're great products. If you want to buy them, I thumbs up. We actually have a discount for you, Homesteady Pioneers. Uh, there's a page for Farmer Brad, and there'll be the uh, URL. If you're watching now and you want to get any of uh, Farmer Brad's bucket here. Okay, so for you Pioneers watching now live, you can get a discount off of Brad's uh, stuff here. Uh, for those who are watching later who want to you know, learn more from what you're doing, Brad, where should they find you? What should they search for? Um, farmerbrad.com forward slash YouTube will direct you to my YouTube channel and uh, also on Facebook. On Facebook, I just uh, we have 800 likes on the Facebook page right now, and then I'm working on trying to get my YouTube channel monetized. It's, uh, it's a long process now. <laughs> you ain't kidding, man. And uh, I'm gonna, when these videos go up on YouTube, I'll have a big call to action. We'd l I'd love to see Farmer Brad's channel grow because I've been watching, I, like you said, Brad, I think it's been a couple years that we've been uh, corresponding through the, the chat box yeah, and things. Yeah. Brad's got great, uh, great ideas, great videos. And I love, one of, one of the things I love, Brad, is you're not afraid to share this. You got a great idea here. You could, you could sell them every day and you didn't have to make a video about like how to build this kind of stuff. You could just keep it to yourself and you know, hey, tough, they can figure it out or they can pay me to get it. But you share this information, you share this knowledge and some people will, they'll build their, build their own and that's great. Other people like me, who if, if I could get it already done better than I could ever build it, I'm more likely to go that route. So Brad, thanks for taking the time. We're definitely gonna have to plan to have you back on the show because we only covered about half of what we wanted to tonight. I hope you enjoyed this interview. If you're thinking to yourself, man, I wish these podcasts were an hour in length, they are. These are the shortened versions. All the full length episodes are available in the Homesteady Pioneers Library. They're hour long versions of all our podcasts. You get a lot more in depth information there. You can download them and listen to them later while you're driving. Go and check out this is homesteady.com. Become a pioneer to gain access to our pioneers only versions of our podcast. And you can join us live for the interviews. Learn more at this is homesteady.com. And until next time, remember the road is rocky. Make home steady. <laughs>